I'm Nell Saldi. I'm an associate professor of human genetics here at the University of Utah. And my lab studies the evolution of interactions between infectious microbes and their hosts. Here in the Department of Human Genetics, we think a lot about infectious microbes. So these are viruses, these are bacteria, other infectious agents that have had a really profound impact on the evolution of us as hosts, the evolution of many species. And so we work really hard to do comparisons using the wealth of genetic information that's out there to start to compare how are our immune responses different from others? How are we vulnerable to some infectious microbes but resistant to others? When I first came here, uh, I was overwhelmed with how interesting and exciting it might be to open my lab. It took a little bit of time for that to sort of sink in. Um, but what my sort of heart was telling me turned out to be true. Everything about being here is, and from a scientific perspective, is really exciting. And this uh, Utah really matched my scientific style. One of the great things about Utah, and we talk about this, I think, at a lot of institutions, is this idea of collaborating, where it almost becomes a cliche. But here, I think at Utah, what's a little bit unique is that we can actually fail at collaborations. There's so many collisions that it's okay if something on paper that looks like it might be a great partnership sort of falls short. Uh, but that's, you know, that's that one time, and maybe in a few months, that collaboration will start to get some traction. And so, it's really worth it to take a bigger view and to take advantage of that mindset at Utah, which is, let's collaborate. If it doesn't work this time, maybe it will the next time, or maybe this will open up another sort of possibility. All right, so it's possible that you could actually have more genes that fall in this kit. One of the really fun things about being in academic science is this idea that we can kind of reinvent ourselves every few years, and that kind of happened naturally when we were grad students, when we were postdocs, um, and then when we opened our labs. But I think the danger is sort of then becoming a little more static to stop sort of reinventing yourself or doing something completely different every few years. And so I've been thinking about my time as a, a professor uh, as if this is just an apprenticeship and that there will be different chapters or there will almost be different entire sort of categories of doing things. And so that's what I'm hoping for in the future, that the work will change, sort of the energy will change, my approaches will change, and so that it's almost like a new job every few years with a new focus. I can think back to opening my lab and how fragile everything felt. But at the same time, we were also, you know, taking some chances. We were going after some big ideas. We were chasing some interesting research questions. And so it wasn't always clear that that was going to sort of work, that we would, uh, you know, make good discoveries, that they would be published in good places, that we'd convince people to fund our work. And what's been really fun, really inspirational, is first to be able to recruit really great people to Utah to join us uh, in the lab and on, a, on the research projects that we've been pursuing. And then to see all of this other recognition sort of follow along. I have plenty of grant reviews where I really thought that we might be crashing the plane here. Uh, and what's happened in recent times is sort of the reverse of that, where we're now getting all of this really fun feedback, all the support, all this great recognition, including awards like the MacArthur Prize. And so this has just been uh, sort of really exciting and kind of unexpected that not only would we be able to sort of start the lab, get a foothold, get some sustainability, but then it would, that it would kind of go to the next level, that we would also get some of this really fun recognition as well. Into the future, I see myself hopefully doing the same thing because if we're doing this, if we keep doing this, it feels new. We're always sort of approaching these problems as a novice. We're sort of throwing ourselves into space where we don't know where the direction will be. And so one of the things that scientists do is they're just always onto something. It's there's some, we're chasing after something, an idea. When we get there, when we know it, it's sort of almost anticlimactic. It's that chase, and I hope in 10 to 15 years to continue to be chasing after scientific questions.